But I don't want to go to sleep, Mommy. Why not, sweetie? I'm afraid. Honey, we've been through this. There's nothing to be afraid of. But today at school, Frederick said- You remember what I told you about Frederick? He's a fibber? That's right. Remember when he told you your hair would fall out if you went potty? And what happened? I held it. After that. I piddled. And then what happened? Nothing. See? But he said there's a monster in my closet that'll eat my fingers when I go to sleep! Eat your... Oh, honey, look. Do you see a monster in there? See? Nothing to be afraid of. Mm. Now, you have sweet dreams, okay? See you in the morning. There's something wrong with that Frederick kid. Mom? It's just the wind, honey. It's just the wind. 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 Sweetheart, you're okay. You're perfectly safe. There's no monster in here. But there was! Well, there isn't any more. Maybe you scared him away. It was only your imagination, baby. Try to go to sleep. I love you. Sweet dreams. <gasps> oh no, please don't. You nearly scared me half to death. Uh, are you a monster? Not that I'm aware of. Are you here to eat my fingers? Certainly not. Are you only my imagination? I should hope not. What's your name? My name is William, and you are? I'm Annabella. I'm this many. Are you a ghost? It would appear I am. Does that mean you're dead? How did you get my closet? I'm not really sure. I feel like I've been wandering for ages with nowhere to go. Miles and days passed, but I continued walking. I don't know why, but I started to feel as though I was being pursued by someone. Or something. Something dark. Like a monster? I don't know. I could feel it, but I never actually saw it. 
It was as though it was always just out of sight. As I went on, a feeling of dread grew over me. It got stronger and stronger. I couldn't take it any longer, so I closed my eyes and wished I were somewhere safe. When I opened them, I was here. It seems safe enough, though I fear I am quite lost. Where are you supposed to be? I'm afraid I don't know. Go to the light! What does that mean? I heard it on TV once. That's what you're supposed to say to ghosts. Go to the light. Nothing's happening. Maybe it has to be on. William? Where did you go? <laughs> whoa, whoa, young miss. That's enough of that. I feel dizzy. I'm sorry. You're not a scary ghost. Thank you. Frederick said ghosts are scary and mean. They knock on doors and break your dishes. Who's Frederick? A boy at school. Mommy says he needs serious help. Well, I promise you I won't knock on any doors or break your dishes. Will you be my friend? You can stay here and protect me from the mean ghosts. That's very kind of you. I like that very much. to go to school in the morning. I should go to sleep now. All right then. Good night, William. Pleasant dreams, Anna. I don't feel so well.
Maybe if we ignore it, they'll just go away. Arthurton? Who are you? Oh, sorry. Name's Harold. What happened to me? I felt such a darkness and then nothing. The longer a spirit remains in the land of the living, the more they lose themselves. They become lost souls, mindless entities, roaming the earth aimlessly and alone, completely devoid of any human emotion. Anyway, yeah. We got to you in time. Just barely. You're a tough one to track down, you know that? They don't tell you about that part of the job. Look at me. Do I look like a flippin' bounty hunter? And slipping into houses? Don't remember that in the job description. Definitely nothing about closet lurking. What am I, the boogeyman? I mean, honestly. How did you get in there? Trade secret. Well, Willie, we should probably get going. May I have a moment? Yeah, sure. I have to go now, darling. Okay. Thank you for so kindly being my friend. That's what she meant. Watch out for the mean ones. I don't think you'll have to worry about me, love. After you. Hey kid, thanks for keeping him out of trouble.